Hello YouTubers, this is Joe Bravo with Mo Bravo Knife Reviews and today I have a special teaser video of my front flipper special that's going to be coming out later on this week. I had a little bit of time to kill, figured give everybody an introduction to the knives that were going to be presented. I have my Trevor Burger, um, this is an Atlas um, SFL slab frame lock. You can see it is a frame lock with a 3.4 inch blade. Uh, let me get the ruler out and I will tell you exactly it is uh, 3.4 inches and seven and a half inches in overall length and I'll even give you a little bit on the scale is 3.5 ounces very nice knife great action it is a front flipper with uh, you know what I gotta go back and look and see what steel it is uh, I don't even know but great action, great flipping, nice one shake shut. Uh, you know, I didn't know what to make of it at first. I didn't know if I liked it or I didn't like it. Uh, it's a fantastic knife. I think it's definitely growing on me. Is it a keeper? I'm not sure. Is it going to be the winner? I don't know. Uh, we have a Mitchell Clark Custom. Uh, this is a fantastic liner lock with the Agier Domasteel 3.3 inch blade running on bearings and very smooth, very drop shut. Just, I mean, watch your fingers. Uh, this is 3.3 inches. The overall length is a little bit more than 7.5. On the scale, it weighs 3.3 ounces, which I guess has to be attributed to the lighter Dama steel and the carbon fiber on the scales. It does have a Zerk collar and it's got a Zerk um, pocket clip. Great action, a little light on the detent, really classy. Uh, now we've got the, uh, I guess you would call it the, uh, the big boy. This is the Shamwary from Gareth Bull and Jason Bull out in South Africa. All these are South African front flippers. Uh, they are fantastic knives. Uh, the sham is beautiful. It is an OD micorta. Um, I didn't think I was going to like it as much. It is hand rubbed with polished flats. Uh, beautiful, beautiful knife, very controlled. If you want it to drop shut, you can get it to drop shut. If you want it to roll shut, you can get it to roll shut. I'm very impressed. I didn't think I was going to like this knife as much as I do, uh, but I do. Uh, this is a 3.3 inch on bearings, and with that drop point, it is a little less than 7.5 inches long. And the weight on that guy is 3.2 ounces. Uh, very light. Uh, I haven't thrown it in a pocket yet, but that pocket clip looks like it's going to ride just perfect. And then I have my Anton Knives Boudica. It is definitely the heavy hitter of the group. It is a 3.75 inch blade. It is huge. It is eight and a quarter inches long. And it comes in at a weight of 5.1 ounces. Uh, it's weight certainly does help the deployment and the thwack. It is like it's on glass. Once you hit that detent, there is no resistance. Uh, once you hit the ramp, uh, the weight of the blade just lets it go the rest of the way. And uh, I'm really a fan of the Boudica. I'm really a fan of the Sham. The Clark is classy as and the frame lock burger is a dream to flip very positive very nice acoustics and it's going to be really interesting to see which one of these i like best so be sure to tune in to my channel mo bravo b knife reviews and i'm very much looking forward to hearing your feedback on what i think about the knives that you see in front of you today thank you very much